Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk. And continuing our video series with regards to using the Super Elevation view to make edits and customizations to our Super Elevation. In the last video, we worked out our major crit our critical stations. Full Super, start of runoff and run out. Now we're ready to start working on the transition and the slopes. So in this video, we're going to work on the lanes and we'll do the shoulders in the next video. So let's take a look here. Let's start from the beginning and let's take a look to see what the left lane does. So you can see at 425, it's already, or 425.88, it's already at 1%. We talked about that in a previous video. So we're going to change this at this station to be at 1%. The way I do this, and it's, you can do it a couple different ways, but I like to hold the control button and click. And so I just get that one super line. And remember, I've got dynamic input on so that I can key this in right at the cursor. And so I'm going to change my cross slope. You can see just by hovering, just by, I'm not clicking, I'm just hovering, I get the option to change cross slope. So I'm going to change, click change cross slope, and that's going to be a minus one at our beginning station, 425.88. Okay, so I may escape just to look at it. I could keep it selected if I'm continuing. So that actually does exactly what the diagram shows. It's all the way back at one, it's at, uh, they're both at minus two, of course, and then we've got this slight gra uh, gradual change of normal crown to meet some existing site condition. Okay, so what about our full super? So I like to, you kind of like to, on these, you like to do the beginning at the end and then work on in between. So let's check our full super of the right side, or it's actually both left and right. And our full super, you can see, is 6.2. Let's double check that in the report. 6.2 full super. 6.2 and minus 6.2. So I'm going to, again, hit the control button. And this time, this is your grade, your cross slope uh, grip. We're going to just hover, change it, and that's going to be a positive 6.2. Enter. And then we'll... Escape and control select. Now here we're going to be careful where we select because we've got a shoulder right on top. So I'm going to control click back here to make sure I just get the right lane. And then I'm just going to hover over the grip, change cross slope, and that's going to be a minus 6.2. Enter. Okay. Just doing the right and left lanes. Okay. So now let's go to full super. We're doing our major transitions first. So our second curve's full super, if we look at the diagram, looks like 5.2. We'll check that in report, and it is 5.2. Let's go here. We'll change that to positive 5.2. The lane, escape, and then I'll con control, trick, control click left side. Hover, change cross slope. That'll be a 5.2. Oh, missed that. Should have been a minus. Change cross slope, minus 5.2. Okay, again, we're not concerned about anything past here. Our full super slopes are correct. Our transition slopes, we may have to do a little work in here in a minute. But let's go back to the beginning now. So here, if we look at the diagram, we can see from this start point 425.88 all the way to full super, we're in a full linear. We don't have any grade changes. So how can we deal with that? So if I control select, notice I have a, a outside flat, my reverse crown points and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because these are not uh, critical stations here, I'm going to start going to the ones that uh, have nothing to do with my, my lane here, and I'm going to hover and remove grade break. Good. So that one turns gray. And same thing here, hover, remove grade break, hover, remove grade break. There we go. 
So now we still have our critical station. It says, okay, something's changing grade on uh, this particular station, but the gray means this particular line does not have a grade break. And that's pretty much what the plans show, that going consistently linear up to the full super. So what about the, we'll do the right while we're here. So this stays until 516, stays at 2%, and then it linearly moves to full super. So let's see, is that correct? So we'll escape here. And 516. Good. That looks good. And I'm going to control click to make sure we don't have a grade break. And it looks like we do, right? Looks like that was formed for that to shoulder. So I'm going to hover over that and remove it. So that goes from reverse crown at 516 all the way to full super in a linear state. And you can see here 516 to full super it's at uh, 644 for that uh, right side lane. So that looks good. We've already changed full super, so these are good. We've changed full super here where we're going. But let's take a look at where these cross, where we're at zero, because this is reversing. Remember we had the automatic overlap turned on and so that just basically said linearly transition between the points and you know work it out in the middle wherever it lands that's where it lands. So that uh, where the meet is roughly at 1240 something like that and if we look at the diagram this crossing point is actually at 122608 and so the issue here is that um, it doesn't really look like it. You have to look at it close, but there's a slight gray break. This is not linear from full super to full super. So they did a little bit of lagging here instead of going straight flat. So there's a slight gray break here. So what we need to do is we need a critical station here at that 1226 and force both lanes to be at 0% there, and then the diagram should work itself out. Problem is, when I click on the diagram, I have no grade breaker vertex here to add to that location, which makes it tough. So here's a little trick to help with that. So I'm going to click the diagram. I'm going to right click and go to open the tabular editor, which is just a shortcut. And we're going to go to the station just before that 122608. And we're going to click add station. And we're just going to type. 1226.08 enter and when this comes back you have to give it a second it takes in a minute to populate there we go so we've got a manual station here and my lanes left outside and inside lanes should be at zero at that particular position zero enter zero enter and then we'll hit these the uh, checkbox and what that does is that forces this point to be at zero and it corrects the slopes in between so this slope should be correct now because there's no this is a constant or linear change from zero percent up to here so you can see there's a slight gray break both ways for the red line and the blue line as they transition so that's a quick way to add if you see now if I click here I've got a critical station at all those points. So if we look again, we take a last look here. I think we're in pretty good shape with regards to our right and left lanes. So in the next video, we'll do the same thing for the left and right shoulders.